Hello dear ones, this is Alice. I am of the stars and this is the ninth in a series of videos on the topic the spiritual powers of omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence on earth today. Things to look out for by Alice B. Claggett. This the ninth in the series is entitled Gathering of the Auschwitz clan in spiritual groups that practice consequentialism. The word Auschwitz is a reference to the death camps during the Nazi regime in, in Germany and in the places that they conquered. Um, and the reason for the reference is that there was an astral story going around when I was fleeing from that group of spiritual people. It, that was really outlandish, you know, it was hard hard to even fathom it, but it went something along the lines that the leader of the group might have been a, one of the Hitler's inner circle leaders during the Nazi regime, and that his, his spouse might have been uh, the angel of death there. I think his name was Mengel. You know, what's the likelihood something like that is true? But that's the source of this this video is that like vision that I had a very stark vision that certain of the members of the spiritual group from, from which I was fleeing had been among Hitler's leaders and they had that ruthless quality according to the astral heirs when I was leaving. For whatever reason I was terrified and uh, that no doubt contributed to the austerity of the vision that I had. So here goes the text based on that. It is also occurring in the world today that those who participated in the Nazi concentration camp atrocities and who have reincarnated with these very heavy incarnational burdens are attracted to spiritual groups consisting of spiritual adepts uh, which practice the philosophy of consequentialism. Now, I knew that the philosophy of consequentialism had to be do with the group uh, that I had meditated with, and that was because they talked quite a bit about being above right and wrong, and the teacher would question the people in the group and ask them if they understood that, that they were above right and wrong, and each would come forth with some kind of response to that. So that philosophy of being above right and wrong in a certain context is called consequentialism. I found a biblical quote that um, I thought applied to that. It was from Proverbs 16 verse 25. It was in the King James Version of the Bible so that was public domain and it goes like this. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death. So I gather from that that the people in Proverbs that made this, this line uh, felt that sometimes it would seem that a certain way was right. In this instance, I feel consequentialism is felt to be right. But according to Proverbs, the end thereof the end of certain like heretical ways of thinking are the ways of death and I don't take that just in the physical sense but also in the sense of soul learning and soul development soul evolution although in the physical sense it often is true that if a person breaks the law over and over again in a major sort of way that that may result in death, maybe from a violent attempt to stop a robbery or uh, the use of guns to prevent murder or even execution by the state. So the big time consequentialist is always in danger if he or she is breaking the law again and again as a way of life of physical death, but the worst consequence isn't to do with physical death, it's to do with the devolution of the soul 
That's how I feel. And, and perhaps Proverbs was speaking to that as well. There's a section in this video called Mind Control, and it goes like this. Attainment of the spiritual powers of omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence is attractive to souls that participated in the Auschwitz atrocities. As these spiritual powers, when negatively aspected, can result in mind controlling many people, quote, for their own good, end quote, which is to say, to create a utopia on earth through fascist or dictatorial means. This is a section on psychic rape. Attainment of other spiritual powers, such as strong gut-brain telepathy, that offers the opportunity to entrain other people through psychic rape, would also be attractive to souls with Auschwitz atrocity wounding, I feel. There's a blog in which I discuss the vision that I had about the leader of the spiritual group and his relationship to the Nazi inner circle, which probably was just so much poppycock and just a result of my being afraid at the time. But in case you'd like to take a look at it, it's on my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. The URL is https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com and the name of the blog in question is Reincarnation, The Law of Karma, and God's Sense of Humor. I recall the trouble that I had in speaking to anyone about my concerns about uh, killing cult at the time had to do with the fact that my understanding of the situation was entirely on the astral plane. And what I find is that people in general fail to believe me if I speak about intuition or hunches or things like that. They need solid evidence, and certainly that's, that's uh, a reasonable thing to ask for, whether amongst friends or acquaintances or law enforcement, whoever it is, it's, it's good to ask what physical reason there is for concern. And on the other hand, there's the issue of, of a person's emotions. And uh, that is something else altogether. What I found from that experience was that when I was frightened, no one would hear me at all. They thought, Just, she's frightened. There's nothing to it. Whether there was or was not something to it is, is a totally separate issue. But the main concern, I feel, of, of a friend or an acquaintance in such a situation is to validate the emotions of the person who's frightened. And once those emotions are validated and the person is calm, then the friend or acquaintance can get down to the issue of whether there really is a peril involved, a physical peril. I feel that's the important thing, to, to validate another person's emotions. And failing that, is most people don't think to do that. They just think, oh, that person is upset, and that's the size of it. So failing that, then it's a responsibility of the person who's upset to calm themselves and cease to be upset so they can approach the situation logically with law enforcement. So I feel that's my experience about it. It's not like TV, you know. Law enforcement is not in love with the psychics of Earth or the light workers or anything like that. They, they want hard facts. They want to find the body. And they don't want to know about hunches and intuition. They're just too busy with real crimes in the real world. <laughs> well, that's all for now. May God bless you and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. Till next time.